Hi there, in this video we're going to crop a bike inside a giant letter R. But really we want to look at the color blending. We can see how the image is blending with the background. We've offset it a little bit, kind of looks cool. Let's learn how to do that now using blending modes in Illustrator. All right, first up, uh, open up the file called blending modes. Um, you don't have to, it's just an orange box. You could draw your own. Um, it doesn't quite work uh, as well with like say a solid black or a solid white color. Blending modes interact with them differently from colors. Okay, so what I first want to do is my giant letter with the image inside. It's easy to do, right? Um, so I'm going to grab my type tool, type R. I'm using Musio Sans Rounded. I love it, it's such a cool font. Whenever you're doing font sizes as well, if you want to go so big, I hold down Shift and hold down the, the Alt key on a PC or the Option key on a Mac to go real big with the font. Cool, rather than using the Option over here, it takes too long. Next thing I want to do is I want to bring in my image and resize my R. Okay, Command Shift P is place or Control Shift P on a PC. Uh, pick any of the bike images, click place and click and drag it so it's it's bigger than the letter R. It just has to be covering it up. Okay, then you need to send it to the back. Okay, you can right click and arrange center back. Select both of them and hit Command 7. Okay, or Control 7 on a PC that makes a clipping mask. Um, so that's the kind of basics, right? Now we're going to play with the way it blends with the background. So with it selected, I'm going to go over here to Opacity, and this is the option here. So where it says Normal, try Darken, try Multiply. Actually what I'll do is I'll move this over so you can zoom in uh, when we do our edits so that you can kind of see a bit easier what color. Now it will depend, if you've got like green in the background, these won't all do the exact same. Okay, so or if you've got a different image, it might look different. So don't count on these 100% uh, what they're going to do. It's all a bit of experimentation. Now I quite like to overlay and multiply that cool. Now don't be afraid to use combinations. Let's say we want to use um, um, overlay, but also multiply. So I'm going to make a duplicate of this. Weirdly, it still works, right? But with it over here, it's not interacting with the orange background, so it's still overlay. Anyway, this guy here, I'm going to change back to multiply. And don't be afraid to play with the opacity as well. If you feel it's a bit strong, you can just drag the opacity as well. Um, and you can lay them on top of each other. So you guys laying on top. Okay, and they've got a kind of a combo deal. Don't be afraid to offset them as well. You might do some sort of cool, like, you know, misprint, um, misregistration, kind of 3D-ish kind of feel. I don't know. Anyway, so that is playing with blending modes. We've done it with images, but you can do it with just colored text and you'll get different effects. And this is where I set our class exercise. What I'd like you to do is I want you to create your own giant letter with image. You can use any of the other images from the exercise files. Okay, there's a few other bikes in there, but you could use your own. Your own giant letter and your own background color and your own blending modes. You can offset it, you don't have to. Maybe you do a range, maybe you do the whole alphabet. Okay, I'd like to see what you do. Remember, reach out to me on Instagram, on Twitter, I'd love to see it. Also post your projects on this website so that other people can see what you've done. Yeah, all right, go and do some blending mode magic.